Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Swire. Welcome back to another video. Now, formerly on the channel, I did make a video talking about how to turn your fully powered gaming PC into a console-like experience. In that video, I talked about some really cool tools, stuff, to, little kind of open source tools where you could import things from other kind of libraries into a unified Steam library, which for the most part is decently console-like because you can have that controls with your controller, um, you can turn off your computer or put it to sleep, kind of like you would with a console, and you could access most games like you would want in that way. However, since then, I've been playing more with Play Night. And since that video, I've discovered that Play Night has fixed an issue I had, primarily which was not integrating Xbox Game Pass games into its application. But now there was some kind of update, and it works really, really well. This video is sponsored by two VPN providers, Surfshark VPN, one of my top VPNs if you're looking for an excellent bundled offering. The bundled offering with Surfshark One Plus includes antivirus, various data breach protection features, and a data removal service called Incogni. This is a service that will go to websites like White Pages and remove your IRL information. So this is definitely a solid pickup. It's a top rated offering here on my channel. And the data broker removal service is my top recommended one since it's so affordable. This is half as much as you're gonna pay with some of the other services out there like Delete Me. So definitely a solid pickup. However, if you're looking for some other options, TorGuard is another good choice. It includes some remote VPN offerings, um, different email bundle offerings. It also includes interesting cloud proxy or um, V2 Ray options if you're in a sensory country. The basic plan also includes SOX 5 proxy for torrenting, which is excellent. If you're looking for dedicated IPs, it's also very good since there's interesting bundles that are very affordable. If you want to use any of these things with TorGuard, use promo code TOMSPARK2023. With Surfshark, use my link in the description down below. It'll help support the channel. And these are two excellent products that I stand by and recommend on a daily basis. So in this video, I'm going to be talking why it's the number one tool you should take advantage of. If you're looking to transform your PC into a console-like experience. Alright guys, so first up, this is what PlayNight is. PlayNight.link is a website. Now, I'm not sponsored by PlayNight or anything like that. And in fact, it's a free-to-use, pretty much non-data logging application. And it's really, really good. This is what it looks like on the base kind of level. The cool thing about PlayNight, though, is there is a lot of different themes and you could customize it to a really good extent, which is nice. Um, here is the theme I use personally myself and you can even kind of see the game art and description like this the cool thing is it also tracks the amount of time you played on the game which is cool and you can also see it in different kind of integrations or layouts kind of like in this way so or even this way um, and there's plenty of other different things too the cool thing is it supports console emulators um, like i said there's the themes um, it can even run from portable storage without needing to install system dependencies, which is actually kind of interesting. It's also very um, fast. One of the things I really like about Play Night, though, is the way it just feels like a console. For example, you can, from one button, kind of access the settings and then make the computer sleep. And then when you will launch the computer, it will launch it. Other really cool features include being able to automatically open up Play Night after closing a game, automatically being able to close other kind of game libraries like Steam or Epic, so it's not kind of in the way of your console-like experience. So it has a lot of those cool wealth that all features that you wouldn't really find in some of the other applications out there. So let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to set up. Here is how Playtime uh, Plates Night would configure. Basically, you start up and integrate your various libraries. For this video, the purpose of testing, I'm just gonna do Steam. Since I've already set this up on my main computer, that I connect to my TV to have that console-like experience. So basically what you're gonna do is set up the various different accounts and API keys. Um, and then once it's done, it's gonna open up and look like this. Um, so right now it's already kind of seems like it's working with Steam, even though I don't know if I put the right information in, it might not work perfectly. But for this purpose of this test video, I just wanted to show you guys how it would theoretically work. Um, so as you can see, it's downloading some metadata, which is cool to give you that like cool art for every one of the things. And we can even kind of put it into full screen mode um, by going up here and doing uh, full screen. So F11. So this is like the controller mode. It works with the controllers and this is what it would look like. So the cool thing is, as you can hear, it has nice kind of console like audio. You can even switch that if you want. 
um, and go to the different things with your controller. Um, and then once you select the title, like let's say Valheim, it's gonna start launching it through Steam and it just works like that. So very, very cool, um, it works pretty well. And like I said, if you set up that setting, it will just kind of start it back up here and there you go. You can also sort by recently played, most played, favorites and stuff like that. Um, so that is very cool. As you can see down here, well, you can't really see it on my screen, but you can see the different options for um, the console. So that is really nice. We're gonna just kind of put that back into place here. Um, but the settings are very good too. So this is like I was saying here at the top right, you can put your console to sleep, which is very, very handy. You can't do that with some other applications. Um, you can do this with Steam, but like I said, the benefit here is that you could integrate everything. With Steam, I've been having issues getting Epic Games into Steam. I've also had issues with Xbox games into Steam, but this will unify everything together perfectly and it just is a little less lagging in steam i don't know what it is about steam but it does kind of lag in the console mode and this is much more lightweight and doesn't really seem to lag which is really good as you can see here into the settings you could see these kind of console like settings however if you go to um the desktop mode is kind of where you will spend more of the configuration at least in the beginning Here's kind of what it would look like in this kind of PC mode. Um, so if we go to the settings here, you could go to various different customization options. Um, but really what you want to kind of configure first is the extensions and, and the third party clients. Um, so you can go to um, add ons and you will see the different um, libraries and stuff like that. Um, so basically when you're setting it up for the first time, you want to kind of integrate all the different options you want um, and then they will be available kind of like as a third party client. I only pick Steam as you saw, so it will have the other options if you pick those. As you can see here, you can see some cool stats and things like this. Um, and you can also customize like at the top here, um, a different sorting, different categorization as you can see here. So really it's a little bit of a playground. So guys, that's pretty much it. Just a really cool, quick rundown and promotion of this tool that I absolutely love. I think more people should be using it. I hope it gets support. Um, I, there, there might be a way to donate to it. I'm not really sure. Um, I, there's a Patreon, um, but it doesn't seem to be necessary. Joseph Nemec is the guy who made it. He's only making around $783 a month. So if you do like this product, maybe consider donating to him. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's still an active development. And that, that could be one reason why my issue was recently fixed. So guys, definitely check this out. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.